Part five of my baby daddy getting me arrested, put in jail, and put on probation. Now, when I came out of the Taco Bell, I jumped in the car because I'm all excited and everything. Yeah, I'm seven months pregnant, but I was still running around playing basketball, playing volleyball. But we lived in a hotel that was right diagonal from the Taco Bell, so I could see it. When I jumped in, I automatically threw the truck in reverse. And when I backed up, I automatically knew that I messed up. I heard a big old collision go, boom! I turned around, I'm like, oh my God. I done hit a whole car. I jump out of the car and I go out. This black guy sitting in the middle of the crown big talking about some, oh, oh, oh. A lady come out of there and she run around to his side. She open the door and she pull him out and go help him to the curb of the, uh, of the Taco Bell. Now don't get me wrong. I had remorse for hitting the man's car, but me being me, I had already looked at him and was like, sir, I hope you ain't doing all of that for no money. Cause I ain't got none, you ain't got none. I ain't got no insurance. And I'm assuming you ain't got no insurance either. He told me, you gonna pay, you gonna pay. So nonetheless, the lady that was with him ended up calling the police. The police got there like 0.2 seconds and was like, what happened? So of course, I was trying to explain to him what happened, which I was going to tell him exactly what had just went down. But the guy, he decided that he wanted to bombard and speak over me and was just like, she wasn't looking. She jumped in her car. She just backed it up into reverse. And the first thing that came to my head before I started speaking, because now that I'm thinking, like, I listen twice as much as I hear, bruh, why was you parked in a fire zone? This whole little lane right here in front of the store in Taco Bell says fire zone, no parking. So technically, even though I hit you, you were in the wrong. So anyway, the police officer was like, um, ma'am, are you okay? I see you're pregnant. Do you need me to call the ambulance or anything? I was like, no, sir, I'm good. I'm good. I just want to go home. Even though my home was the Guest Inn Hotel right off the highway. And if y'all believe me, Google Guest Inn in Longview. You'll see it's right off of 259. So the officer was like, ma'am, where's your ID? Where's your insurance? I said, sir, all I have in my pocket is money. My ID, my insurance that I didn't have, is over there at the hotel he was like is there somebody over there that can bring it to me nope now almost immediately the first thing that came back to my head was we owe this man some money and i have tickets out here please don't let me go to jail so nonetheless he had asked me what's your name and your date of birth i can just call it in a dispatch i gave him the information he pulled it up and he was just like oh you got a warrant i was like oh a warrant what do i have a warrant for he's like i'm really not 100 percent sure i just know it's a warrant out for your arrest so i'm gonna have to take you in so I looked at him, I was like, is there any way that I can call my baby daddy and have him come get the truck? He was just like, no, because you didn't provide any insurance, so we're going to have to tow the truck. So nonetheless, I pulled out my phone, I text Joseph anyways, and was like, hey, I'm about to go to jail, I got a warrant, and I just wrecked the truck. Y'all, I kid you not, within 2.6 seconds, I look across the field, and I see this man running towards me. Now he get over there, and he was like, what's you going to jail for, man? How you wrecked the truck, da 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 this, that, that, and the third. Now, while he doing all of this screaming, the black dude that was in the crown big, he's still on the ground. So I'm like, oh, oh. If y'all want the next part, my book is on sale for $15 on my website. Go copy one. And go subscribe to my YouTube and come back and drop some pro.